In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Tailwind CSS, the library that I use all the time in my videos, inside your React application. We are going to start by an application that is already set up inside a dev environment. We used Create React App to create this app. But I'm going also to show you how to use Tailwind inside an HTML file with React because probably you want to create a Chrome application or probably you would like to create a plugin or whatever. Okay, so on the official documentation of Tailwind, I'm going to go under the tab using PostCSS. And the first thing I'm going to do is to copy paste this line. I'm going to install Tailwind CSS, PostCSS and auto prefixer. After that, I'm going to use the second command, npx Tailwind CSS init. It misses something here. I need to put an hyphen p because I want to generate the post CSS file. If you don't do that, probably Tailwind is not going to work. So I'm going to type enter and suddenly I can look here at my uh, file tree and I can see that I got a tailwind.config.js and I got a post CSS with content inside. If you don't get content inside, probably your CSS will not work. Okay, so when it's done here, uh, what I need to do is to add here this content. So we can see here that Tailwind is going to look at all the files inside my source. Okay, so I'm going to zoom a little bit to give you some explanation. Here, um, Tailwind is going to look at um, specific files. Okay, and you need to tell him, hey, look at this folder. So until now, it's going to be inside the source folder. And here we got tons of files that are going to use Tailwind. Here we can see that we can work on the extension that Tailwind is going to look at. So here I need to put GSX. If I use TypeScript, I need to put TS or TSX. Okay. If you don't do that, Tailwind will not look at them and will not apply the style to the pages. All right. So if I go down now, what I can do is to go to my main file, which is here me, um, index.css. And on index.css, I, of course, need to tell him to use Tailwind. Of course, index.css is imported in main.css, in main.gsx, sorry, here at the root. So we know that the whole application is going to use Tailwind. Okay, I'm going to go here. I'm going just to copy paste that. And then we should be good. Normally inside my application, I should have some style that will be applied um, from Tailwind. So if I come back, suddenly we can see that it changed. And now I can use Tailwind CSS inside my React application. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to unzoom a little bit and just close here all of that. And I'm going to come back to a file, for instance, the app.gsx, and I'm going to add a new class. Let's say that I'm going to add BG Orange 500. And if I save, suddenly we can see that I got the class from Tailwind that uh, that has been applied actually uh, to uh, my uh, header. Okay, let's take a, a, a look at Tailwind uh, um, a little bit. If you don't know Tailwind here, it's just a CSS library that gives you tons of classes that you can use, okay? Um, also, you got components, you got templates, you got a lot of stuff that you can use here to create your own web application and you can use it with React. So if I uh, look a little bit down, I can also work, for instance, on the responsive, okay? So here we've got an example with Tailwind, we can work with responsiveness of our application, which is really cool. If I go down here, I can see that I can also write uh, deeper CSS. So I can use the keyframes, I can use the uh, query modifiers, everything that is related to uh, create uh, um, a front-end application, so especially on the responsive. The best with Tailwind is that, for me, it provides to you a dark mode that helps you to actually write inline CSS, okay? Um, that will be, um, sorry, not inline CSS, inline classes that will apply a different style if you are on a dark mode or not. So I will make a video on dark mode probably just after to show you. But here we can see that on light mode and dark mode, we got the background that change and the color of also. For that, you can use here the prefix dark 
two points and then BG slate 800, which is the color of this element here. We can see here that on BG white here, BG white is applied on a normal mode, so on the light mode. So there is a, a, a dark um, prefixer that helps you to change the behavior, the style of a component depending on the dark mode or not. Okay, um, we just saw that I was working on the colors. Tailwind CSS provides to you a lot of colors and every time you just need a, 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 the colors name and an iPhone to apply the color. So if it's on text, you can put for instance text green. Uh, if it's on the background, you can put BG green, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And you will be able to apply any color that you want just here. Okay, what we should do now is probably to give you an example of how we can use React inside an HTML file and to use Tailwind as well. For the need of this course, I'm going to create an example.html file inside here, this workspace. This is not related to our Create React app. It's just to show you that you can use React externally of a uh, workspace like this inside a project that has been created by the CLI. Let me create an example.html file. And inside this example.html file, I'm just going to copy paste an HTML page that is using Tailwind CSS here, React, Babel, and the React code. We are going to look at this code together. It's just that I want to go fast and to show you that we can use React inside, um, actually an HTML file first, and we can also use Tailwind as a combination. All right, so let's just take a quick look at this code. Here we've got um, basically a, a very simple HTML file. So at first we've got the head and then we got the body. And remember, we've got the root. And the root here, this is where we target down here with React, we target the root to inject inside, re inside our uh, DOM, especially here inside the HTML, to inject our React application. So let's have a quick explanation quickly. What we need, we need to import React inside our HTML file. So we can see here that from unpackage.com, we call first the version 17 of React, and we also call the DOM. The DOM is going to come later. We will get a specific explanation for that, a specific lesson. And also we call Babel because React will need Babel to uh, render actually uh, the code that we will write. And we can see down here that on the script, we use the type Babel in order for our JavaScript to be translated here. So we got our app application exactly like we do if we come uh, here on our source folder. We are a man that is going to call app, okay? And app.gsx is here. The difference is that here it's under a script tag and we've got our React. So in, inside the script on your HTML file, you can write some React code. It will be uh, actually translated as a JavaScript code directly inside your browser. Okay, so now here we've got our React application running here but we would like to use Tailwind also. It's as simple as we did with React. Up here, you, as you can see, we've got basically Tailwind that is imported from the C CDN uh, gsdeliver.net, which is where we grab Tailwind. So inside this HTML file, what did we do? We basically called React, the DOM of React, Babel, in order to write some JavaScript code to write a React application just here. And you can see later that you can use everything that is related to React directly between those two tags, okay? We could have a big, big um, uh, file or probably externalized file uh, such as components, things we are going to look at just after, and have a real application, a complete one. But also what we did, we imported Tailwind CSS in order to translate actually every class that, are, that we got here into real CSS. So we can see here that I don't need to use create React app. To use React, I could use React inside an HTML file and I could use also Tailwind CSS next to it 
if I would like to write here an application or a piece of an application directly inside an HTML file. 